Hey Scorpio, Scorpio rising, Scorpio moon. This is Ellie with your August general reading uh, psychic tarot. This is for all signs for the uh, Scorpio. So please do uh, check your sun, your moon and your rising. And of course, if you wanted more specific uh, details on your present situation, the only way to do that is to have a private reading. Please head to my website at www.hypnoule.com. Alternatively, I do offer a one uh, burning question reading for $35, paid at PayPal and then sent to me. Both emails are hypnoulley at hotmail.com. Once those funds have cleared, the answer is sent to you within 48 hours. So I've chosen one card for the overall tone, the spiritual reading, a spiritual tone of the month, spiritual lesson. One card for your work, your career, your finances. One for your home life, your home relationships. One for your health, spiritual and mental and emotional well-being. And then one for your love relationships. So Scorpio... The overall tone of the entire month is for you, uh, the Two of Cups. Now, this is finding uh, that you uh, have learnt from your past and that you now understand to have a healthy relationship, uh, there's give and take. You understand what the healthy relationship is. This is also about um, improving bonds in an existing relationship. This is also about... Um, feeling like you are building successful alliances, that the people around you are very supportive. This is making partner. There's a Leo around this for some of you. You might find that at work you've, you've partnered up with someone and you really are, make a great team. For some of you, you might make partner this month. For others, you feel like your job really suits you and you feel like you're really doing well this month. Um, and also gains, 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 gains. You're feeling like you've got your stride now. You're feeling like you're on top of things. You're feeling absolutely wonderful. So um, if there's any of you in the health industry, you'll find that there's promotions about. You'll find that um, you're flourishing uh, and, and you're really uh, connecting with people. So in your work uh, sense, we do have the uh, Seven of Cups. Now, uh, this is about prioritizing. You've got a lot on at work, so just focus in on the most important. Uh, now, in a sense of looking for a job, there's plenty on offer. Uh, you'll probably go with, there's probably two main ones, and I feel like you'll probably go for the second one. Um, now, this is about having lots on options. Uh, lots on offer. This is about uh, busy, busy, busy. And because you've got the two of um, cups, you'll find that you're delegating easily. You, you know, the you and your team are running really smoothly. Things are looking really good. Well, at home, you're the star of the show. This is the, uh, you've got two major arcanas in this reading, uh, Scorpio. This one is the Aquarius sign. And this is about balance, finding an excellent balance. But this is about being the star of your show, being a starring light, um, having a starring role. This is balancing two things that you're really uh, passionate about. So it could be your children and your partner. It could be your work in your home, uh, your work and your partner. This is finding a really lovely, even balance. This is also could be for the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, this is about and using your intuition, letting the creativity flow, letting the emotions flow. This is a water card, so that's opening up to greater love, letting those um, fences down. You could have um, someone moving in or someone coming to stay as well. Um, so home life looks good as well. Well, with our health, we do have the Queen of Pentacles. She is a nurturer. It's about you, you, you. So this month, it's all about you putting your health on number one. For others, this is about you finding out you're pregnant, nurturing that. It's about giving birth. For others, this is about you getting on top of your waistlines. It's getting on top of your female issues because this is the feminine card. This is the nurturer. This is the woman, the mother, the, the strong leader. Now, this is the queen of pentacles. So you are on top form. You are on top of your health. But this is about you, you, you. So for some of you, there's menopausal. For others, this is your female issues. Getting on top of that and feeling really strong. Uh, also partnering up with some great um, teams, whether it be... Um, 
gynecologists, uh, doctors, uh, health experts, gyms, uh, teammate at, at the gym that you know you really bounce off with each other. And then finally, with your relationships, uh, we do have the temperance card. So this is a little bit of an enlightenment, and this is about a bit of magic. This is about changing one situation into another. So there's a transformation. Now, if you have a look, this angel has got uh the red wings this is about opening communication this angel reminds me of gabriel it's about talking it's about dialogue it's about movement it's about getting things to go i feel like some of you might meet someone and it's very very quickly again going with this um and again this has got red wings on it too so what's the significance of the red wings is this a miracle is this you know um this month you see a miracle you've you've seen the magic happen you've seen the light and you meet your karmic rewards uh after all your uh, hard work experience and wisdom um if you're in an existing relationship there's just really flowing you know you're changing the situation you're listening to each other you're really having an enlightenment there's an enlightenment happening as well this is about harmony healing balance um and, and she's standing in the water you're open to receiving love. You're open to giving love. This is a beautiful card for relationships. So, Scorpio, I hope you enjoy that reading, and I shall see you next month.